Hi everyone, welcome to Coffee Table Talks. Mmm, that's good. Well, we're continuing our series in What's So Great About the Bible? Uh, what I uh, want to continue to discuss is the different attributes of what the Bible can actually do for us and give to us. But we have to understand that the Bible is truly the Word of God. The, the Bible is truly given to us by the one who is outside, outside time, space, and matter, the one who cares about us. And, and think about the treasure that we have in God's Word, Psalm 119, 162. So I want you to just ask yourself, do you see God's Word appropriately in your life? as the ultimate authority of how you make decisions, of how you live your life by, of the truth that sets you free? Uh, is the word of God actually sufficient? When you go through issues and situations, you, do you look to God's word and pray over it and get it for, for God to speak to you about your situation? Well, um, those are the things we have to consider. If God's word is truly, if the Bible is truly God's word, then we should be able to come to it and say, this is the authority in my life. This is what I live by. So I want to bring out a few more things in regards to what's so great about the Bible. So today, the next point is happiness. Yes, the Bible does care about your happiness. The problem in our day and age is that we focus on happiness instead of focusing on the Lord. In Psalm 1, it says, happy is the man or blesses is the man, which means happy, who meditates on God's word. So think about that. So happiness comes from our thinking about God. It really comes from being in a right relationship with God because God is the source of happiness. He is the source of joy. And if we do it the other way around and try to have happiness without God, then we will never be happy because there is no happiness without God. But as we come to the word of God and as we believe in and trust in and rest in the promises of God, then what the Bible says in Psalm 1 is that we're, we're happy, we're blessed. We're blessed when we're constantly thinking about rolling around these truths in our mind instead of all the other things that can we can think about. When we're meditating on God's word, there's happiness. So that's one thing. The next thing, maybe the most important probably the most important out of everything we're talking about is salvation. Salvation is found in the word of God. So how do we know how we go to heaven? How do we even know if there is a heaven? How do we know about these things? The word of God, the word of God tells us. So what does the Bible say about salvation? Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So we learn that salvation is in a person and his name is Jesus Christ and he is the savior of the world and he came to die, rise again, and then all who believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. So we learn about the most important thing and that's salvation. Um, the next thing is, uh, the Bible is, is, in James it tells us it's a mirror to our life. It, it's something that uh, really, as we look at it, we're able to see ourselves correctly. Um, without the Bible, we don't see ourselves correctly. We have a warped view of ourselves, and that can go in different extremes. We have such a warped view of ourselves. The Bible gives us uh, a good glimpse of who we are, and when we read it, we find out, man, we're we're sinners, and we need a savior. We need to be cleansed of our sin. And so, when we read the Bible, not only does it give us a good perspective of ourselves, but then it also tells us how to be healed, how to be free, how to be rescued. So um, without the Bible, we don't have a good um, way to really understand ourselves or know ourselves. Uh, another thing the Bible says is that it's a guide. In Psalm 119, 105, it says it's a lamp into our feet. So the Bible is the guide that lights the path for us. It helps us to make decisions, right or wrong, left or right, this way or that way. So we filter our decisions that we make through the Word of God. And then the last thing I want to point out in this segment is that the Word of God revives us. In Psalm 119, it talks about that, how we can be so down and so tired and so burned out. And then 
we get into the word of God and just starts to revive our soul. It wakes up. Uh, the Bible says that I, Jesus said, I come to give you life and that more abundantly. And as we get into the word, it revives our spirit. It revives our soul. And many people are walking around like zombies, so burned out, so uh, disappointed. And, and um, when we get into God's word, it renews and revives our spirit. So those are the points today. What's so great about the Bible? We can go on and on and on, but um, those are some things to consider and think about. In Jesus' name, amen.